gosh, she'd been waved on again, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Around these border areas, by the way, and we're not far from the border, we're still back in the Republic, but uh, there is an awful lot of movement of different goods and services at any given time, and you do tend to see a lot more checks. People are keeping an eye on. There may not be an official border, but there is a border, <laughs> all the same. Nice, nice symbol. And there's a lovely symbol coming up here. Again, another sculpture. Two men, arms outstretched to each other. It's called Hands Across the Divide. And again, it's just a piece of art that came after the uh, peace process. I was here a few weeks ago and um, somebody, obviously with a sense of humour, had put a McDonald's bag in the middle. I said, oh, they're sharing their chips and everything. <laughs> I think if you can share your fries, you're doing good. <laughs> now, so the plan is to bring you down and drop you at what we call the Guild Hall, which is the town hall, and you'll be able to get out there and explore. You can walk up on the walls and get some lunch. But before we do that, we're just going to take you for a little drive. It doesn't take very long, and we're going to show you the bog side. there to your right hand side it's just a pedestrian bridge you can walk across to the other side and, and really that you come back again but it, it's a new bridge that's been built in the last 10 years or so and again it's connecting communities that prior to this were not connected and that's its significance so if you do walk over really there's nothing particularly over there it's just to say you've walked the peace bridge and that lovely building to your left hand side there, that's the Guild Hall, the City Hall. You're coming back there in a little while and I would recommend um, going inside, particularly upstairs. It's, it's um, available for anybody to walk in. Um, now, today is Saturday, today is Saturday. Sometimes upstairs is closed because they do, they have registry office weddings and that there. But if it's open, go upstairs, beautiful stained glass in the main hall up there. The river there, the River Foyle, was very significant in the Second World War, actually, and particularly the Battle of the Atlantic, where an awful lot of ships would have taken safe harbour there. The, the river flows right out to the Atlantic, um, and supply vessels, uh, support vessels, generally, they used the area here in Londonderry just to, uh, to use, use it as a port. The Royal Canadian Navy was very significant here in Londonderry during the Second World War. sign the flags we're flying around here you always know if you're what area you're in uh, because you will either see a British flag flying or you'll see the Irish flag flying and then it's all about the art here as well you'll find the gable ends of houses and different areas you get these murals painted of key figures and still barricades along here so this is the area known as the bog side 
Bobby Sands, the individual here on the right hand side, he died in hunger strike. He was uh, an elected member of parliament. He wanted to be treated as a prisoner of war as opposed to um, he, he had been arrested as a, a criminal and he went on hunger strike and died um, as a result of it. But this is where the Battle of the Bogside all played out and indeed Bloody Sunday itself. Again here the Gable End, civil rights, one man, one vote and anti-sectarian. So just remembering the time. Memorial here on the left hand side to those that died on Bloody Sunday. And a very famous sign coming up very shortly now on your left hand side saying you are now entering Free Derry and this was a sign put up at the time of the Battle of the Bogside in 1968. Again, different figures. Bernadette Devlin over there on the right-hand side, very much active in the civil rights movement at the end of the 1960s. And that young lady there on the right-hand side, one of the first victims at the beginning of the Troubles. It's still quite a poor area. You do get a sense of that. The people here were very much working class and they struggled, you know, they struggled to find work. It was a real issue over time that they just felt they had no choice but to take to the streets in terms of just publicizing the situation as they saw it. city walls just yet but we're coming up to our first glimpse of them but when we get down to our drop-off point I'll be able to show them to you in a better way but just coming up to one of the gates now into a little square now called the Diamond, the central shopping square here. We'll just follow our way down the hill to the Guildhall. It's a steep hill. <laughs> There's a few places along here just to point out. We've got the baker's oven here on the left-hand side. There's a lovely little craft village here as well. To show you, it goes in here to the left-hand side, the craft village there. There's some nice cafes in there to the left. And here, the River Inn, just on the left-hand side, do very nice food as well. And as we come under the next gate, the pickle duck here on the right is quite good. And the Guild Hall, where we're going to drop you, pick up from. And there's a cafe inside the Guild Hall as well. There are restrooms inside the Guild Hall.